This is Roll With It Unplugged, a casual take on telling improvised stories through role-playing games. Today's episode is the third of a three-game series of Everyone is John, a light role-playing game by Michael B. Sullivan. Adam Bracken, Chris Krueger, and Jim Weaver are joined by GM Brian McKittrick. Roll With It. Bits for control, please. Reveal. Two's tied. John, you wake up. You're in a bed of some kind. Um, it's enclosed. has like a glass front. Um, it's frosted over with like, cla- uh, like ice or something, or, which is melting really quickly. Um, there's like steam that's coming off. It's opening now. Um, you're in a dark metal lined room. Hmm. Well, you know, that's what happens whenever you fly economy. <laughs> what do you do, John? Um, I'm going to look for the little baggage claim. Okay. Uh, you get up, there are... There look like there are, uh, there are, other, there are other containers like yours that you just got out of. Um, they're empty. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're open and empty. Um, there is a pulsing greenish light coming from the screen next to a sliding or a door of some kind. Okay. Uh, does it say anything? I mean, is it? Uh, as you draw closer, it says um, containment breach, sub level two, uh, employee J zero N seven said uh, report uh, report for uh, inspection and. Maintenance. Ah, that must be where customs is. I will go to level two. All right. I go down to level two. It appears to have a bunch of shipping containers. Perfect. My luggage is here. Yeah. Um, you don't see your luggage. I don't. No. Well, it should be here. Where is it? As you look around in the dark, glooming, echoey chamber, with a steady thrum going throughout, um, you hear uh, a crackle. Uh, and a voice in your ear pipes up saying, uh, John, John, are, are you there? Having trouble with the communicators. Ah, is, is this airport security? It, yeah, yeah, nice joke. Look, listen, John, um, one of the containment units got, uh, ported damage. The automatic systems are on the fritz, though. Can't see the serial number really well. I need you to check it out. Make sure it's not something, like... Really dangerous? Wait, are you telling me that you've lost my luggage? Was it in that container? Maybe. Or, sure, whatever. Um, I just need you to get visual identification, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I'll need to file a claim on that. I have my number. Don't worry. I'll handle it when you find the number. Just go find the one. It should be three stacks down and on your right. Uh, oh, okay. This, I mean, don't you have people who do that? That's you. Right. Um... Oof. Never flying economy again, I can tell you that much. Yeah, so... What was the name of that travel agent? Susan? Uh, Susan. Yutani. Susan Yutani, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to have to speak with her boss when I get back home. Um, Okay, anyway, um, yeah, I'll I'll go go look where he says my luggage is. Okay. Um, These containers uh, look like they're supposed to house live animals of some kind. Uh, Most of them are empty. In fact... Almost all of them are empty. People uh, who travel with their pets. Um, Why would you do that? There is... One of them it hold, it is like a giant sloth of some kind. It's just kind of laying there going... Hmm. My goodness. <laughs> it smells horrible, though. It looks like it's growing algae on it. Oh. Yeah. They're gross. But that's not what the one you're looking for. Uh, the one you're looking for looks like the bars have been ripped out from the inside and just clawed apart. As something broke out. Great. This is the sort of quality that I expect from these low third rate. I mean, they made me pay for my bags individually. Individually! Yeah, John, yeah, yeah. Whatever, John. Look, John, you have a, a shoulder flashlight. Can you get uh, the, the, the serial number should be printed above the bars. Can you see it? Shoulder flat. Is, yeah. this, is this complimentary? Can I keep it? Yeah, it's a jumpsuit. <laughs> hey, oh. Well, at least, you know, you guys aren't completely bereft of... Uh, Company provides for its employees or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, I get, did I get any nuts? No. And I, I never saw the stewardess come by with the nuts. You do not get in-flight meals when you are in cryosleep. Uh-huh. 
Okay. I'm not really sure what that means, but um, I'll, I'll click on the, the flashlight and, and read him my claim number. Uh, the claim number reads out as uh, subject... Uh, Containment level three, subject level, uh, subject identification, SHLB-1. Okay. As you say that, the voice on the other line says, repeat that again? Uh, schlub one. Okay, John, um, you need to get to an emergency lock here right now. You need to get a motion tracker and, uh... Whatever you can find in a weapon, like right now. Weapon? I'm gonna wake up the security team. They'll be out of cry sleep in about uh, an hour or so. You need to get out of there, John. You are. You, you move! Well, I knew I was you flying. You move in the darkness. I knew I was flying red eye, but I didn't realize I was gonna be landing between shifts. Something is on top of the boxes. Oh. Um, excuse me, sir? It skitters out of the way of the light. Um, you know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with this later. If, if I don't, I'm gonna miss my train. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you, where are you going? I'm gonna go find um, the information desk and file a formal complaint, uh, you and should... also find out where the uh, where the train tickets can be purchased. Uh, the there is a console next to the lockers uh, at the door that you came uh, came in through. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. I guess I'll, I'll look for information on it, see if I can find where the information desk is. Oh man, this is so old. It has a text parser, and you're gonna have to type in your commands manually. Um, information. Enter. <laughs> um, systems information. Uh, status, air, uh, life support, 100%. Status engines, 100%. Status cryo sleep units. 92% status ventilation uh, units, error, uh, malfunction in ventilation unit 3, containment units, uh, data cannot be found. Uh, okay, well I clearly have a malfunction, so I guess I'm headed to level 3. Okay, um, give me a roll of some kind. You hear footsteps behind you. Um... Hello? Sir? Ma'am? Well, it is a male figure. He gets down on all fours and breaks into a sprint. Okay. He's getting on you. I failed my role. Yeah. As you realize who this is. We will have a bit for control. <laughs> and then I will adjourn. Alright, Neil? Alright, John? Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf! Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's coming for you! <laughs> Stop right there, evildoer. I, I go into my uh, transformation pose and transform. You don't have a belt buckle. buckle. I believe that I do. <laughs> I completely believe that I do. You, you believe that you've transformed and yes, it's gone successfully. I believe that I transform. Because the effects get added in post. Yes, <laughs> and as he comes in, I'm going to do... I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do a justice punch right to his face. <laughs> justice punch! Alright, give me a roll. Alright. Punch actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Yes. <laughs> the Xenomorph. Oh no! That's my skill. Oh yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right! So you catch him right on the chin and he just flies backwards and disappears out of your flashlight's range. You hear him skitter away somewhere. But all the echoes, you can't track where he is anymore. I can't track where he is? Yeah. Okay. The um, voice in your, uh, your headset is telling you, get out of there, get out of there, grab the motion tracker, get out of there. No, I have to. I have to hunt down this evildoer and punish them. You don't understand. We that thing can't die. I'll see about that. And I, uh, I pick up the motion tracker. Yeah, when you open the locker. There's a uh, a stick of some kind and a box on a handle grip thing. Okay, and that's the motion tracker. Mm-hmm. I take it. You get that nice aliens blip blip sound. Okay, I move in the direction of the of the alien, of mm-hmm. the creature. Uh, 30 meters. Okay, keep going. 20 meters. Good. 10 meters. Good. 5 meters. You can't run from me. He's right on top of you. Alright. But you don't see him. I look up. Yeah, he's dropping out of the uh, the sky now. Give me a roll. Alright. You can't punch him. It's too fast. You're gonna have to dodge. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, you get pinned by actual Campbell Shadowbuff, <laughs> and there's a pin for control. All right. <laughs> there's a tie. Five. He's on top of you. He's going for your throat. What do you do? Um, Justice Elbow. <laughs> Give me a roll. Five. All right, yeah, you... He rolls off, clutching at his slightly crushed windpipe. You're just, just this flying dropkick knee <laughs> straight to his face. Give me a roll. All right. Success. Okay. Right. Yeah, you, you you knock him unconscious. Okay. And I will count that as a success okay. because you've punished an evildoer. Yes, thank you. Actual cannibal Shia Buff is an evildoer. <laughs> <laughs> I say I, I I say enthusiastically into the headset. Evildoer has been stopped. Now might that also qualify for mine? Yes, actually. Excellent. Our uh, our goals are aligned, friend. <laughs> well, we are both John. Yes, we are both John. But there's a bit for control. Voice on the headset is saying, "Look, you can't kill that thing with your bare hands. You need to get out of there." It's already been stopped. The, 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 <laughs> the, head to the security room. You'll meet the, the security team will be awake by then, hopefully, and the, you can help them, I, I guess. Just stay safe. Get out of there as fast as possible. Let's see those bits. Three, seven. Let's see. Five. Two. One. Okay. When he says, um, well, you can't kill that thing. You can't kill that thing with your bare hands. If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Um, ask him, uh, how do we get to the weapons then? <laughs> We're at the weapons. <laughs> uh, uh, two levels, uh, one level up, uh, down the right hallway, access level, uh, access hatch H. Alright, heading that direction. Now, coming out of cryo, am I naked? No, you have a jumpsuit. Okay. Um, as you turn around and go through the door, Shadow sure Buff's not there anymore. Hmm. He wasn't down for very long. He's gone. <laughs> Alright. What do you do? Um, I'm just heading to wherever the guy gave me directions to. Okay. Alright, uh, you get to the security room. Um, this is where the security officers are also kept in cryosleep, so they're close to their equipment. Mm. Um, the the cryo tubes are booting up. They will take time. This technology is old, mm. hasn't been updated. This is a freighter ship, it doesn't get updated. But there are lockers. They are locked, however, mm. with their ID cards. Um, this person I've been talking to, is he around? No, you've just been hearing him through your earpiece. Oh, yeah. um, so I'm going to say to him, <clears throat> All right, I'm here. I need some clothes, some boots, and uh, we'll say a shotgun. <laughs> uh, all right, I, I'll, I'm not supposed to do this, but this is an emergency. I will deactivate the locks on the seventh locker on the right. There should be at least some body armor and a helmet, maybe some stun stun equipment. I don't know. I, I can't give you anything more than that. The other stuff needs to be for the trained professionals. You understand? I am a professional. I, you're a janitor, John. <laughs> then at least give me a mop. It'll be better than a stupid little girly stun gun. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the mop if you want. Excellent. You're a thunk from the ventilation of the shaft. <laughs> I take the mop and I sort of like hold it up like a sword. <laughs> this is my weapon. There are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> And the grating on the vent drops out, and... <laughs> <laughs> so do I see actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf? Yes. Um, so... He's doing that xenomorph thing where it has a second mouth? Nice. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's, it also looks like Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> 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 so I say, uh, it's, it's time for you to get shafted, and I'm going to try to like jam my mom into his mouth. <laughs> nice. Give me a roll. Six. All right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm not going to relent. I'm just going to like keep jabbing it in my mouth repeatedly until it goes away. And it or flees dies. before you. You see your enemies dro- <laughs> driven before you. This is what is best in life. <laughs> <laughs> so as it runs, I have to react quickly. But I said, it's time to get to the point. And I'm going to snap the thing in half so I've got a sharp edge. Yeah, okay. Wow. There is a bit for control. All right, reveal. So, John... Um, the crowd sheets are opening up and the security guards are getting up. These guys are Marines. They 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 don't even say anything, they just kinda of move you aside. I say, 
Stand, stand aside, I've got this. You, you try to hold out your arm, but they just, like, walk past it like it's nothing. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, citizens. I'll take care of this, this evildoer. Uh, citizen, then get a load of this guy. John, sit here. Don't touch anything. We'll get rid of this thing. It'll be easy. Right, Dave? And he, like, he's talking on his earpiece, like, yeah, just be careful. It's, it's still in the vents. I don't know... Oh god! Ah! Uh, do I know what direction it came from? Um, one of the guards shuts. He's in communications. This way. I start running towards communications. Wait, one of the the last one out the door stops you. He's like, "You stay here, John. This is for the Marines." When he, when he reaches out to try to stop me, I just kind of I try to like, you like slide do, I do a running baseball slide underneath. Him. <laughs> Give me a roll. All right. Oh wait, no, I'm not using it. Yours is cursed. <laughs> Four. Uh, it's not a justice punch. No. So you try to baseball slide, but he just like puts his arm down lower, and you catch against it, and there's a bit for control. Yeah. Three has it. All right. John, you're on the floor. You have broken up, a taser, a motion BP thing, and the last of the security men have left and locked the door behind them. Ah, I've, I've fallen, and this mop has broken my fall, and I'm suing. Um, I, I have excellent insurance, by the way. All you hear over the radio is chewing noises. So, um, someone take a photograph. I will need it for evidence. You have your camera. You have not just a camera, but one of those those nice lens wrap, strap around the neck. Because you, that's you. Oh, well, in that case, I, I'm definitely going to take a picture of myself. Um... Could take a selfie in the security room. Totally, totally taking a selfie, yeah. Um, I, I, I'm going to look around um, and, and figure out where I am. Is this information? There are There is a bank of monitors and a keyboard. It looks like these are security cameras. Well, clearly everything in this airport is do-it-yourself, so I'm going to try to find out how to get a uh, train ticket. Give me a roll. All right. Let's spin the next one. Five. All right, um... There's no printer here for tickets, but you do, there, it, there, it doesn't print out a ticket. It prints out a new ID badge mm-hmm. with all access. Oh, excellent. So it's as good as a ticket, I think. Huh. Well, thank goodness. Um, this is, will at least get you through the door so you can find the ticket machine. Where is the, where's the station from here? Um, you see something called Shuttle Bay, which is, yeah, you find the shuttle. Airport shuttles, yes, that's exactly what I need. It's two levels over and down, big ship. I will head that direction. Um, it will take ten minutes in the elevator. Okay. John will fall asleep in the elevator, and there will be a bid for control. Aha. Reveal. Two has it. All right. Ding. The door is open. The Marines are dead. There's blood everywhere. And a half-naked child buff with the head of a Marine just going, hung, 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 hung. <laughs> turns, at, turns to look at you. <laughs> You there, foul beasts! I'm going to crush you, and I'm going to grind your bones into dust. <laughs> Do you just charge straight at Shia LaBeouf? Totally. With, with mop handles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's going to charge right at you with sharp claws, stinging tail whip, and second face thing. Yeah. Three. Mm, you don't know your skill does apply. <laughs> So you lock arms, deadlock, and pin him to the ground. He's snapping wildly at your face, but you're just, mm, juking, getting out of the way. What do you do next? Um, I'm going to try to... This is the shuttle bay. There are maintenance tools everywhere. Okay. Including power drills, power saws, welders. Mm. Please recreate that scene from... Uh, Total recall with the <laughs> drilling thing. I actually can say, yeah. Uh, uh, do I see anything that's like um, like a pneumatic like crusher, almost like a junkyard thing, or a big drill of some sort, or anything along those lines? There's a power loader. A power loader that will work just for, just fine. It's that suit thing. Yeah. So I'm going to um, I'm going to. You're sort still of, grappling with him though. Yeah, I'm going to like sort of like as I'm grappling with him, like try to take him under control and then like rush him over to that thing. Okay, give me a roll. All right. One. Oh no, he <laughs> slips out of your grasp and knocks you to the floor and then pins you. And there's a bit for control. Reveal. Three has it. What do you do? John! <laughs> so he's got me pinned? Yeah. Um, let's see. 
<laughs> you are like a little girly man. I just like try to just like take control again, just push him off. This is nothing, you know. You're 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 a bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a roll. Four. All right, you flip him off. He flies over and slams against the side of the shuttle. <laughs> he's dazed for a second. And I'm gonna just while he's dazed, I'm gonna grab him and again just try to sort of fling him toward the power loader. Okay. Give me another roll. Six. Yeah, you got him on the power loader. What do you do next? I'm going to activate it so it crushes him. <laughs> mm. You don't need to roll to do this. <laughs> you crush the man. Screw you, Benny! <laughs> <laughs> and that counts for both of you. Yeah. There's <laughs> a bit for control. Alright. And you hear docking clamps engage. Here we go. Alright, read. You're on, uh, you hear docking clamps engage. Welcome to Zevastopol Station. The station! Fantastic. <laughs> oh, now, to buy a ticket, I'm going to proceed to the station. <laughs> okay, uh, you walk into basically the, uh, what is essentially the lobby on Zevastopol. Uh, Zevastopol is not owned by Wayland Yutani, it's from Alien Isolation that name. Okay. Um, are these European names? They're so, they're so, so exotic. quaint. I know. <laughs> um, there's graffiti and debris and what looks like blood trails. It looks like a mess. Okay. Well, I am looking for the station attendant. Um, there's somebody. There's a bald man standing behind a desk uh, not looking at you. Senor. Senor. Uh, necess- <laughs> necessito uh, ayuda por favor. Please repeat your request. I'm, I'm reading from my little uh, little book. Yeah. As he turns, you see that he is an android. He's not one of those... He's not Bishop. He's a... I forget what they're called. But he's basically the knockoff, generic, less, less three laws compatible version. Oh, okay. Repeat, 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 query. Oh, um, I... You speak English. Good. I, I would. I would like to um, purchase a ticket, please. Identification, please. Uh, ah, yes. And I and I hand him my ID badge. Uh, identification for Wayland Utani employee. Access denied. Okay. Evacuate the premises. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but I need to get to Madrid. Evacuate the premises. And he Ma- starts walking towards you. Madrid. Duh. He's gonna try to choke you. Oh. Gonna go for the neck grab. Give me a roll. I got it. Yeah, he instead he grabs your camera and just crushes it in one hand. Hey! That's new! Uh, <laughs> I de- I I de- well, welcome to Sebath. Welcome. Sir, I'm getting your identification number. I am filing a complaint with you. Do you move out of the way, or do you stand with crazy robot man? I'm gonna stand there and, t- and tell him off. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this time. <laughs> Four. Um, he jerkily like swings his arm and knocks you off your feet. Oh, it's, you slide against another desk, and there's a bit for control. Reveal. Another e- evil door has appeared. Yes, another evil door. Hold it right there, evildoer. I, 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 Brandish your mop handles. No, I drop, I drop the mop handles. I stand up. I do a, a, a pose to transform, to make sure that I'm transformed. Spin around, <laughs> and then I leap into the air and do a flying justice kick straight to his cyborg face. Give me a roll. Okay. Not, not cyborg. Android. Android face. Okay. Six. Yeah, you crush his skull. Yes. White yes. blood goes everywhere. Evildoer has been punished. Yep, that's successful. All right, bid for control. Here we go. All right, it's time. You are standing in the pulpy white remains of the station attendant. It has gotten all over your jumpsuit. I'm going to search him for a train ticket, because obviously he has some and did not want to give them to me. Android, mm-hmm. Androids do have pockets. Androids don't need tickets. Androids don't need identification. Uh, androids would have spare parts. You find a hand. Alright, well, everyone can use a hand. <laughs> Take Android hand. Get Android hand. You hear hissing. Okay. From above. That must be the train. I will head towards it. It's 
above you. Well, I'm level level then. From the dripping vent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, then I will follow the vent towards where the sound must be going in. Well, there's an access hatch. Um, well, I don't want to crawl through the vent. I mean, I'm not an animal. But it is Europe. They do oh, weird things. Like they do very weird things. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I'll just I'll just go on over and, and find the stairs to go up. Okay. Um, bonk. Door does not open. But apparently, your ID card that is all access is only for the ship. Oh. Okay. Um, does it have like your passport? It's only American. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, there was a console at the desk nearby, underneath the dripping vent. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, um, I'm going to consult my guidebook and see what it says. <laughs> it tells you not to eat the food, not to drink the water, always drink all the beverages while you're overseas. Well, that's no help. It's not a very good um, You know what? I'm going to go think this over in the restroom. I have not gone since I got off the plane. I'm irritable, and... Horror upon horrors, it's a squat toilet. Oh! <laughs> and there's a bid for control. <laughs> I, was, I was wrong. We must be in France. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to say it takes you ten minutes, so you fall asleep on the squat toilet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Reveal. Tie. Uh, Common John. Yes. Your beeper thing. The beepy thing. The motion tracker. Beeping lots now. Ah, another evildoer. And you look at it, you see a lot of dots. Lots of dots moving. Lots of, lots of dots moving all over the place. I go out and, and, and try to find the dots. You I will a... stop them all. Do you say that out loud? For justice! Yes, I yell it out loud. Mm-hmm. Yell it out loud. There is silence as the echo dies away. Mm. Lots of thundering, like skittering, like motion within the vents, and then just like pop open, and there's a ton of Shia LaBeoufs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Come to me, I've got justice enough for you all. <laughs> Gonna and stand I, and fight the wave of Shadow Bob. Yes, and I, and, I, and I go straight for the first one. Uh, leap, I, I do my transformation pose, leap into the air. Justice kick! It's a quicker transformation pose because we're like three yeah. fourths of the way there. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, so I'm doing a uh, justice kick. Here we go. Actually, wait, are there several of them? There's at least a half a dozen, and they're my nearby? Three. Yeah. So, okay, so instead of, uh, instead of actually a uh, uh, justice kick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a standing justice spin kick and try to spin around and kick several of them. <laughs> and these, these, these stunt doubles are really good in those costumes. Yeah. <laughs> or it's just shining up all over again. Oh, no! I failed. I failed. You try to kick, but he grabs your leg and throws you to the ground, <laughs> and there's a bit for control. Reveal. All right. Oh, evildoer, has the upper d- hand. What do you do? I leap back up to my feet. Nice try, but this time you're mine. And I do a, a, a I leap forward and I do another, um, I'm going to do a, a justice uh, spin elbow thing where I just kind of like spin my arms around and try to hit everyone. <laughs> it looks way better in post. It looks way better in post. <laughs> Give me a roll. That's success. Yeah, That's yeah. so myself. you lay them all out, um, but they have backup coming. There's too many. You're going to need to find allies. Yes, I need to find allies. Allies of justice. Evildoers have been punished, though. Yes, so as you run from the room, there will be a bid for control. Okay. Reveal. Alright, you're running, you're running. They seem to have not cut up with you. you There's no motion on the motion tracker. Mm. What do you do now? Do I still have a headset? Yes. Uh, But it's for the ship. You'd have to find a headset for the station. I have to find a headset for the station. Okay, so, um... Let's see. There are dead bodies, broken androids, stuff around, debris. Um, okay, so let's see. So I, I, I uh, oh jeez. Uh, yeah, I just gonna, I'm just gonna keep running around looking for uh, anything. Looking for anything that is interesting. Yeah, okay, give me a roll to see if you succeed in finding it, something interesting. A lead of some kind. What is that? A two. You find something interesting. Okay. You find what looks like a. Leathery, really sticky, sort of egg thing. An egg thing? Yeah, there's a bunch of them in the hallway. And there's this a bit for control. That was a bit for control as well. Because you failed. Yeah. Real? One. Two and okay. Three way time. <laughs> These must be fruit baskets. Wonderful. France is uh, so much healthier than the airline. So, uh, okay, um, I will open it up and see what's inside. 
Give me a roll. <laughs> oh, good. It doesn't immediately latch to your face. But some horrifying Shia LaBeouf looking thing that is half developed, half mush, because it was too early to open this one. Mm -hmm. It's just like, okay. So I reach down and scoop out some of the mush and uh, give it a try. <laughs> to try French cuisine. <laughs> mm, escargot. <laughs> oh, God, give me a roll to stay conscious. <laughs> Oh yeah. my god. It tastes like chicken. Uh-huh. Actually, yep. it's, it's more of a fish <laughs> substance. Um, it, it's like kind of exactly. greenish, but you know, it's actually better than most French food, to be honest. Okay, what do you do now that you've sampled the cuisine? Wonderful. Um, well, since I obviously missed the last train. Gonna get a new ticket? Um, you know, I'm gonna go get a ticket for the this current train. There's a map at the station. Oh, wonderful. Um... Does it say outbound or outgoing or, you know, to Paris or anything? Emergency escape shuttle. Oh, wonderful. That'll work. You gonna go there? I'm gonna go there. Okay. Two. Two. Um, you get horribly lost. You were reading uh, the map upside down like a tourist. I forgot <laughs> to walk on the left. You end up in a big chamber. Big chamber. Lots more of those cuisine things. Hmm. And the mother of all Shia LaBeouf's there, screaming. <laughs> I'll allow you to do the honors. Yes. I can't do the voice. It, it's a female Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's the queen Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> nice. As there is a bid for control as it turns and roars at you. Reveal. Your enemy stands before you. <laughs> you have to freeze Sevastopol. Do it. You have to freeze Sevastopol. Do it! <laughs> Just do it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to... um. You don't have your mop handles. Yeah, I threw those away. I didn't need them. Okay. Um, do I see anything around here that could be an improvised weapon? There's some pipes. Pipes. Now, I don't... It's a crushed it, hammer around it, your neck. It's, it's something I don't... <laughs> <laughs> there's something... I, I don't want anything that I have to like, tear off because I don't have to roll for it. It's just something that I can grab to use as a weapon. Um, there's a broken android that's in pieces. You could grab a limb. I'll take a limb. Gonna use an arm. Alright. You're armed now. <laughs> <laughs> and I am armed. And you are going down. So I'm going Roll to beat it to death with an arm. <laughs> and I shall. And I'm gonna spend two more power. Yeah, that's a good idea. Three. Yeah, yeah. you you have you have you have the upper hand. You, you have... <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Pun not intended. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was good. Now it has the upper hand! Yeah! <laughs> but as it screams a horrifying shriek, more start pouring in. More enemies for me to crush! <laughs> I have defeated your queen thing that looks strangely like a man! <laughs> what does this be like a, a manly girl? This is very different from what I'm used to working with! <laughs> <laughs> bid one, because no one else has any to bid. There are more evildoers you must punish. Alright. I will punish all the evildoers. Looks like I, I went into some sort of a battle trance and was able to defeat the boss, but it's still our minions are, are around. There's too many of them. You'll have to take them all out with your ultimate technique. Yes, I must use my ultimate technique. Ultimate justice flying punch kick combination. Alright. And I'm going to spend a point as well. If you succeed, you might just blow up the station. That's fine. <laughs> you call it the justice. If you fail, you might blow up the station. <laughs> there will always be like crazy explosions in the background for no reason. Those are always added to the post. <laughs> yeah, the success <laughs> determines whether or not you survive. <laughs> yeah! yeah! And I spent a point for it too. So. Yep. So, we have a, a nice cinematic view of, uh, of the Sevastopol station just exploding. <laughs> The, the CG is top notch this episode, and, and your shuttle pulls away off to new adventures and more justice to be dealt. Cool, do I get credit for that? Yes, <laughs> yes, you do. You've managed to take a train, hey. and just and evil doors have been punished. Evil doors have yes. been punished. Our enemies have been crushed and driven before us. So, grand total, <laughs> common rider. Yeah, actually, you both tied. We should have, because yeah. our, our objective was... Yeah. Our I, was actually the same. I did hear a lamentation, though, when he did it. Hmm? I, I, I did hear a lamentation. What was your objective? Um, it was to crush my enemies, see them driven before me, and go out hear the lamentation of the women. <laughs> well, I but there were no women. He said lamentation of the women. There was the queen. There, there was the queen LaBeouf. Yeah, so I think, I think actually Chris has one on you. Yeah! 
But but your grand total at the end was uh, seven. Each. Yeah, times three, so it was like, yeah. Beast bump. I yeah. got four tourists, man. It was a long move. Yeah. Entirely. <laughs> I got two, though. You got two. <laughs> you were Mr. Bean in the wrong movie. I was. <laughs> Mr. Bean wandered off set and got onto Alien. <laughs> Actually, so. I specifically said that I was an American tourist in Europe oh, okay. Uh, okay. trying to buy a train ticket. So so you were Mr. Magoo. Right. Yes, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Steve Martin on the wrong side. <laughs> That's right. And you were just surviving, like, somehow. Like, you would just go, <laughs> and go crazy on things and then come out of it, and you're like, hey! And once again, I, I chose the, <laughs> the worst skill ever. I was an insurance salesman. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, and that was everyone is John versus actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf and you But John <laughs> succeeded this time. So. Yeah. yeah, good job. You are finally safe from Shia LaBeouf. This has been Roll With It Unplugged, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The GM for this episode is Brian McKittrick, running Everyone is John by Michael B. Sullivan. The players are Adam Bracken, Chris Kruger, and Jim Weaver. Your producer is Chris Kruger. The Backward Compatible crew, thank you for listening.